Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to explain in detail how you can create the most broken Shadow of the Earth tree build so far. This setup is designed to be highly effective regardless of your skill level since it's based in deflections and guard counters. A deflection is basically blocking an attack when it's about to hit. If you played Sekiro, this is going to be extremely easy for you. However, even if you haven't played that game, the idea remains the same. Just block right before the enemy attack is about to hit and that's a successful deflect. To be able to do this in Elden Ring, you have to use the deflection reflecting hard tier, which is a new physic tier from the DLC. In the same way, the best weapon we can use for this build is the Sword Lance, the weapon of the Commander Gaius. With this fantastic setup, you will be able to destroy your targets in just a few hits while enjoying a refreshing combat style. First of all, I'm going to show you the build, and then we will beat every major boss of the game and the DLC without taking a single hit. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code with Carlos N to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. We are going to be using the Sword Lance on plus 25 with the Royal Knights Resolve as of War on the Heavy Affinity and we need any seal we have available to cast our main buffs. If you want, you can use any weapon with the Raptor Optimist as of War to be able to dodge the Mikela's AoE attack. In the same way, we are going to use any weapon with Seppuku to activate the bleed buffs that we are going to use. You know that you can use any armor set you want, but the Rakshasa's armor set will increase our damage by a total of 6% because we are wearing only 3 pieces, and we are going to use the White Mask for a 10% damage boost with each Bleed proc. The best talismans we can choose for this build are the Lord of Blood's Exultation, the Two-Handed Sword Talisman, the Spear Talisman, and the Corpse Sword Talisman. These 3 talismans are the most important part of this setup because they will stack together increasing the potential of the guard counters which are the base of this build. I am using the Bleed buffs because I believe they are the most practical to use, but with this build you can use the Poison buffs, however I do not recommend it because it will be draining your HP constantly, and you can also use the madness boss. The cool part about the black dumpling compared to the white mask or the mushroom crown is that the buff of this one will last 60 seconds. So even if you lose the buff of the talisman, you will keep the 10% from the helmet. But the counterpart of this one is that it's a little bit more annoying to use at the start of each fight. So as I like the things to happen quickly, that's why I decided to use the bleed buffs, but feel free to use any buff you want. In our flask of wonders physic, we are going to use the blood soaking crack tier and the deflecting heart tier. This setup will give you the highest damage possible, but if you really don't want to use the blood sucking crack tier, your best alternative is the stone barb crack tier, cause it will stack very well with the guard counters that already deal a lot of stance damage. With this weapon we are going to be dealing only physical damage, that's why the best body buff is going to be blood boil aromatic, but if you don't like crafting, you can use flame grand me strength perfectly fine. And this weapon consumes a lot of stamina, so be sure to craft some pickle torten legs to boost your stamina regeneration speed. In order to obtain the max performance of this weapon and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 60 on vigor, 20 on mind, 40 on endurance, 99 on strength, 18 on dexterity and 25 on fate. However, if you want to use the madness buffs, then I recommend you to level up your fate to 33 so you will be able to use Hall of Shabriri and you will proc the effect faster. The only reason I use these points on dexterity is to be able to use other weapons if I needed to. Golden Vow and Flame Grand Me Strength are going to be our main buffs. And as you can see, I have my Scatter Tree Blessing on the level 20 and if you want to deal the same amount of damage I will deal to the DLC bosses, then I recommend you to have it on the level 20 as well. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? Okay guys, now I'm going to explain how this build works. I'm talking a little bit quiet cause it's late here. The deflecting heart tier increases your damage of your card counters by 20% with each successful deflect. Which means that if you successfully deflect 4 enemy attacks, the damage of your next guard counter will be boosted by 80%. And if you stack that 80% with the Royal Knights Resolve 80%, you are going to deal a huge amount of damage in only one hit. But to deal a huge amount of damage, we need to buff our character properly. So first we are going to use our Flask of Wondrous Physic, then we are going to cast Golden Vow, and we are going to use our Pickle Turtle Neck. Next we are going to use our Body Buff, it can be Blood Bowl Aromatic or Flame Grand Me Strength, I will use Blood Bowl Aromatic. Now I like to refill my FP and my HP, and finally we will use our last buff, which in my case is the bleed buff, but you can use the poison buff or the madness buff depending on your preferences. With that you should be ready to go, but once you are in the boss fight you are going to use royal knights resolve and you are going to deflect as much attacks as you can and you are going to use a guard counter. If you are lucky enough to perform the guard counter while the enemy is attacking you, your damage will be even higher because you are going to receive the effect of the spear talisman. Now we can say that you are more than ready to go. I obtained the idea for this build thanks to Seagull. In his most recent video, he explained how this build reaches these ridiculous numbers of damage. Go check his channel, he makes amazing Elden Ring videos. Okay. 
Just run. Just run for me, please. Let's go, guys. We did it. <laughs> it's a calm boss, as you can see. She's chilling. While we are buffing, she's chilling. Amazing. Two more. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Two hits, bro. <laughs> Two, three, come on. I'm ready, guys. Give me another one. Come on, let's go. Let's do this, baby. Okay, I will wait. Real nights. Okay. You can't be seen. I got you. Finally, bro. Hmm. We heal. Yeah, that is perfect. Nice. First one. Well, that didn't count. I. I. I, I Nice. Come on, give me another one. Take this. Take this. Check this out, guys. Oh, the way he's still alive, bro. He was alive. Nice. <laughs> At least it doesn't happen in here, bro. Amazing, bro. Oh, amazing. Amazing, baby. Wow, that was quite fast. Let's get him. Goodbye, Bale. Okay, no. It's goodbye, basically. Yeah, guys, I tried. I promise, guys. I tried, but this guy is so annoying. Amazing. Come on, this time has to has to happen. Nice. There are no butterflies close. Give me that. Give me that. It's okay. It's over. Let's go, baby. Come on. They're not coming fast enough. That is crazy. Take that 27k, bro. Amazing. Come on. Beautiful hit, baby. Goodbye. <laughs> Finally, bro. We did it. <laughs> Amazing three hits. <laughs> Okay.
I'll take it, guys. I don't care. Come on. I'll take it, guys. I don't care, bro. Oh, beautiful. Come on. Amazing, bro. Just beautiful. Amazing. Okay, my homie. Here we go. Amazing. Amazing. Come on. Oh, beautiful. Okay, it seems like that is the max damage we can deal. Goodbye. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> come on, baby. Let's do this. You have a sweet personality, bro. What about that? Oh, that is beautiful, man. Let's put him down. Uchiga Tana for the win, as always, my boy. Nothing can beat the Uchiga Tana, and it's unique power I'm telling you guys the Uchigatana is unique give me that crit no <laughs> Let's go! 